Hey everyone, and welcome back to Salesforce Mojo. I'm really excited about this video. It's a little bit different than our last couple, but today we're gonna to be going over the Summer 23 release. Now Salesforce has been jam packing these releases with a ton of new features, and what I'll do today is go through my top six. There's a ton more out there, but if you're interested in my top six features, we're gonna go right into it now. So today we're gonna to cover six different highlights from the Summer 23 release. Number one is extensions. Two is Salesforce payments. Three is a new feature called pay now within commerce. We'll cover a little bit about B2B guest checkout, exporting products easier, and the new LWR wish list. So with that, let's jump right into it. Number one highlight for me from this release notes is definitely the extension services. Extension services are a new mechanism where we can take Apex classes and extend the existing functionality of B2B and D2C storefronts. You can see on the right hand side, we have a couple of different extensions available right now inside of sandboxes. So you can really start to play around with these extensions, but let me give you a use case. Let's say that you have a relatively complex pricing uh, calculation service that you need to be able to implement in your storefront. Let's say that standard price books and price book entries and entitlements just don't work, right? Pricing changes on a daily basis based on maybe external data uh, from different websites, pricing on the markets or, or whatever it may be, right? But you have complex pricing. Today, what you would need to do is customize a lot of areas inside of commerce. You need to customize the PDP page, the PLP page, cart, checkout, and a lot of other places as well. With pricing service here as an extension, what we'd be able to do is take the baseline of our existing model with price book entries, and then be able to extend that to our own logic, right? Which could be an external call out. It could be our own logic and calculation based on internal Salesforce data but we're basically either updating or overriding that capability. So let's look at exactly what this would look like between now and future. So today, like I mentioned, current state, we'd have to update PDP, PLP, and other areas. But with extensions, we're basically able to put an extension class in between our price books and these standard components on the pages, which allows us to feed in the data we want them to show. So it makes the customization a lot easier and more scalable. So instead of having to do every single custom component in the storefront, we're now able to make one global change in this extension class instead of making all these component changes. So let's go back to extension services again. You can see that we have cart summary, tax, inventory, promotion, pricing, shipping, uh, inventory service, not the cart one, and pricing service. Um, and this is just the beginning of these, I believe. Uh, some of these will be out uh, for sure in June. Some of them are gonna be beta in June, uh, but this definitely is going to be an exciting change for us in commerce as we move forward. The next one on my list is Salesforce Payments. Now, Salesforce Payments has been out for a while, uh, but up to this point, it's primarily been on the B2C side. Uh, and it has been a managed package on the B2B side. However, it's not been fully uh, built out yet, but in the June release and you know summer 23 release, uh, Salesforce payments will be a real thing productized inside of commerce. And what this lets us do is easily set up payments inside of commerce. So think credit card setup with just a couple of clicks instead of having to create a credit card adapter. Uh, think Apple Pay, uh, Google Pay, which right now are not easy to do inside of the storefront, all with just configuration. Uh, now this is a little bit of a switch from how we're doing it today. And this will have some implications to how you actually are processing credit cards um, because this is now lo no longer going out to Stripe or CyberSource or um, you know, uh, Paytrace or whatever service you're using, but it's actually going through Salesforce payments as a service. A company has to be willing to switch payment processors in order to do this, but it definitely will make the setup uh, much more scalable and easy to use. So if you're looking for a way to really extend how you're using payments today and provide more options to your customers, this is definitely a viable option. If you're thinking about using B2B or D2C commerce uh, and you're looking for a payment processor, this is also another good option here uh, because it will make the setup portion uh, quite a bit easier. Next up is a new feature in Commerce Cloud called PayNow. Now the idea behind PayNow is to have the ability to send out payment links without the need to have a commerce infrastructure. And you can see one of the use cases that I have up on the screen here is around uh, being able to pay off a purchase order. 
Uh, there are a lot of other use cases for this as well, um, but the idea behind it is that you can easily create and send payment links uh, from Salesforce out to customers. You can link this to Salesforce payments. So it does require Salesforce payments in order to uh, work properly, but you can see that it does work with uh, Apple Pay and credit cards. This does not require Commerce Cloud as a storefront. Uh, you do need the Commerce Cloud license, I believe, and the Salesforce payment licenses, uh, but it does not require the storefront mechanism, the cart, the checkout in order to work. You're basically getting a link and you're able to go to a new uh, experience site uh, which will allow you to uh, you know fill out the, the basically simplified checkout version of this and pay and that's basically it uh, and then lastly is be able to send this out through uh, multiple different means and this is really the the options are endless here I just put a couple of ideas on here but you can send it out in a PDF uh, emails portals text messages whatever it takes to get it in from the customer but they'd basically get that link they'd click the link they'd pay it and you're done uh, the first version of this, as far as I understand, is a relatively light version. So it has no tie back to orders or other objects inside of uh, Salesforce, but that is coming in future releases. Uh, so this should be a really exciting enhancement to uh, really make paying easy for customers uh, who don't need to go through the traditional cart and checkout experience. So last up here are kind of the, the three other enhancements I mentioned at the very front here. One is B2B guest checkout. Uh, now for guest checkout in B2B, this has not been possible up to this point natively. Uh, you could do it with some customization, but if you needed guest checkout, you basically had to go to the D2C template, which gave you that mechanism. Uh, you were able to do B2B guest browsing, you just couldn't complete that with guest checkout. But now with this latest enhancement, we can do guest checkout both on D2C and B2B. So this should be a really good update uh, for those folks out there who do need guest checkout even from a B2B standpoint. Another one that I think will be a really good enhancement here is export products. Now as a consultant, I'm really excited about this because what this allows us to do is to take products and export them from instance to instance. So think as you're kind of standing up a new storefront and you set most things up in you know, dev or QA and you wanna move that to UAT and then eventually you need to move it to a production instance as well if you're following kind of the traditional Salesforce lifecycle. Uh, well, this gives us an, an ability to really export all those products and import it into the next instance uh, using the Salesforce importer without a whole bunch of data load and manipulation. So I'm really excited about this, and I think there are use cases both from a consultant and a company standpoint uh, to really use the lower instances and promote products up through. And lastly here, we have LW Wishlist. Now, Wishlist is something we've had in Aura uh, from the beginning of the Lightning product, but with LWR, we were missing that in the first version. Uh, with the June and Summer 23 release, we are going to get an LWR wishlist back. Uh, it will only be a single wishlist to begin with. Uh, however, that uh, likely will change in future releases, uh, but we will have one single wishlist per person at a time available in the, the upcoming release. And before we end, I just wanted to, to pull up the release notes here and kind of do a quick uh, walkthrough of it. Uh, you can see it on the left hand side I'm underneath the commerce section in the Salesforce B2B and D2C payments. Uh, and you can see there's a ton in here. I only covered six today. There are a ton more updates. So if you're curious about what else is coming in the summer 23 release, uh, I'll have the link inside of the video, but you can quickly just search Salesforce summer 23 uh, release notes and you'll be able to find the link uh, through Google or whatever your search uh, engine provider is. Uh, and you'll be able to see all the release notes for this. Uh, including the ones I didn't cover today. Uh, so feel free to, to jump in and comment in the, the video if uh, you like some of the other uh, releases that are coming out and tell me what your favorite is. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this is one of the, the best times of years. I'm really excited about some of these releases that are coming out. It could really change the game for a lot of customers and, and add some really good enhancements. Uh, let me know what you think about this type of video and if this would be valuable to keep doing. Uh, and I will likely do uh, more micro videos of some of these topics as these features are, are fully rolled out um, as we get going here. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments or questions um, down below and uh, feel free to like this if you enjoyed the content. Thanks everyone.